Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks so much for joining me on another carding and spinning video. Today I am making yarn number three to go with yarns number one and two that I have already made. And I've knitted up the first yarn and ran out of yarn before I was finished. This is a sweater that I began making completely on the fly. No pattern, just basing it off of a couple of different patterns I already had. And I wanted to make Tweety yarns and I was going to call it a color block sweater. But I don't have as much yarn as I thought I had or rather I need more than I thought I would need. So here I am creating another Tweety type blend to make a third yarn that will actually go in between the two originals. Stay tuned, you'll see the basket with all the yarns together or rather the partially knitted sweater, the second skein of yarn, and the bats. I started off by carding some fleece together because I didn't like how bright the other colors were and I kind of wanted something in the grayscale gradient in between the two yarns I already had. So um, I carded raw fleece that was undyed, not raw, clean fleece that was undyed, and then I made semi-solid bats out of my add-ins. And then I took the combed Texel, hand-combed top I had made from Texel fleece I had dyed. And turned it all into a beautiful homogenous blend. I was going for a grayish, smoky purple that's not too bright, not too bold. Unfortunately, it has some sparkle in it, and it will be the only yarn in this sweater with sparkle. It wasn't supposed to be a sparkly sweater. But there we have it. It is what I had on hand, and it's perfect as far as I'm concerned. You can tell me in the comments what you think about this yarn going in between the other two. Now, I know I think episode 19, maybe episode 19, um, I had... A bat I was thinking of turning into this particular yarn but I didn't like it it wasn't the right color it was too contrasty and I didn't want that so I think this is the better solution so I caught I did make four bats divided it divided and mixed them all up each time I was finished carding the four I divided and mixed it up again so that they would all be fairly homogenous and would create a homogenous yarn. I really, really enjoy working with this Baby Brother drum carter. My only issue with it is that I can't take the drive band off, which when I'm not carding, I like my drive band to not be on the carter because it will get stretched out. So here's all the bats together before I spun them up. And here's the basket. Isn't that gorgeous together? I think so. Anyway, on to the spinning. I was attempting to spin this the very same way I spun the other two, but it has been over a year, and of course I did not make a spinner control card. I didn't make a sample card. So I am guesstimating. And you know what? It's okay if it's not perfect, and it turned out pretty darn near what the other two yarns were. Now, I have a special guest here behind the camera. You cannot see him, but Micah is recording for me and playing with the different settings on the camera. So I will have some slow motion to show you here shortly. And the angles may be a little bit different than you're used to seeing because I had someone behind the camera actually watching and moving the camera as I needed him to which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Micah, my darling. Thank you. You did an excellent job, and you now need to quit your job so you can be my full-time photographer and cameraman. I'm kidding. Here is some slow motion for your enjoyment. Isn't that cool? I had to get all those slow motion shots, so the spinning portion is slow while the carding portion was at high speed. But, you know, new camera new settings to play with. I had to have fun with it. So I did a simple, my regular default spin and 
two plied it together. I think I spun two bats to one bobbin and then two bats to another bobbin and then I plied them together. Super easy, super simple, and I'm very happy with the results. I will show you a picture of the finished yarn with the other two yarns at the end of this video, but I'm going to turn the music on now and let you just enjoy the rest of this gorgeous spinning on a beautiful sunny day in February. It was one of those rare, almost 70 degrees outside February days. Georgia weather. I can't explain it any better than that. Georgia weather. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.